Today we're taking you to St. Martin. Mm -hmm. So St. Martin is a very unique island. It is the smallest landmass in the entire world that shares two nations. Half the island is part of France and the other half is part of the Netherlands, which is Dutch. There is a legend that there was a Frenchman and a Dutchman and they wanted to claim ownership of the land. And so what they decided to do, they decided to be fair and stand back to back and walk away from each other. Mm -hmm. So legend has it that the Dutchman stopped for a refreshing brew. And that is why the Frenchman ended up with 21 square miles of the island and the Dutchman got the remaining 16 square miles. <laughs> <laughs> Today, there is no formal boundary that exists between the two sides of the island. There's simply a welcome sign that says, Welcome to the French side, and welcome to St. Martin. How about that? <laughs> Both countries coexist on the island, and they spell the name differently. The capital of the Dutch side is Philipsburg, and the capital of the French side is Marigot. Phillipsburg has a colonial charm with cobblestone streets, pubs, beach bars, shopping, and historical buildings. While well, Marigot is filled with sidewalk cafes, pastry shops, and art galleries. Princess Juliana Airport is the most photographed runway in the world. Almayho Beach can take an amazing selfie right there with the ocean and a Boeing airplane jet landing practically on top of you. That's right. <laughs> Looks like it's going to land on your head. Although this is truly an amazing sight to behold, beware of the many sandstorms and the loud roar of those jet engines. There's plenty to do on the island. If you visit the island by cruise ship, you're going to be entering the island on the Dutch side. Mm. The cruise port has two piers. One pier holds four ships, the other pier holds two ships. If there are six ships in port, it can be very busy. As cruise passengers enter the Harbor Point Village, they are welcomed by the Steel Band. How about that? And in the Harbor Point Village, there are duty-free shops, an outdoor market, restaurants, souvenirs, and an information center. You can get around all of this in your wheelchair or on your scooter to this whole shopping area. It is easy to get around if you have mobility issues. Wheelchairs and scooters are no problem there. This is also where you're going to meet your shore excursion guides and they're going to take you to where the vehicles are located. Very easy to maneuver and most of the tour buses are at the roundabout that are located at the outside edge of the village. Harbor Point Village offers duty-free shopping. It also has an outdoor market. There are plenty of restaurants, plenty of souvenir shops, and an information center. When you see the sign, you can use your sell and sign card to pay for purchases here. When you get back to the ship, show them your receipt and you get another 7% off. So this is what you're looking for when you're on a princess ship. p and has their own emblem up as well. Our ship is parked at the furthest berth out. <laughs> it took us 10 minutes to walk from the ship to the entrance. And the only place to sit at that point was the brick wall on the pier itself. You're not gonna find another place to sit down unless you're at a bar or something until this area right here. Yeah. Right around that palm tree. How about that? If you found 
found this video helpful or informative in any way, why don't you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you as part of the Sea Lake Journey crew. And check out our other videos on St. Martin. Until next time, we'll see you around the channel. See you around the channel.